back here again in Studio 3. Well, as you see from the last video, the Navigate and Autopilot had a few issues exiting the Motor 1 M4 here at a couple of exits. But Sally thinks we, she has a reason why that's happening, and we're going to explain that to you right now. Okay, so um, I think part of the problem is it's been developed in a country that drives on the right-hand side of the road. Um, with that comes that they measure or they count the lanes from the um, rightmost lane. Lane 1 would be the right-hand lane, lane 2 would be in the middle of the road, and then lane 3 would be in the centre um, of the road closest to the um, adjacent traffic. So, bearing that in mind, I think the same problem occurs over here. I think what autopilot does is it's counting the lanes from the rightmost lane. So in our country, we're being a left-hand a country that drives on the left-hand side of the road. The lane one is in the centre of the freeway. Um, lane two is in the, the middle, and then lane three would be the the leftmost lane. And the problem there is because the, it use it relies on maps to decide what lane it needs to be in to exit the freeway. It looks at the map, and the map says, well, you need to be in lane three, for example, to um, take this exit. And in some situations, such as the M7, M4 interchange, if you're going from the M4 eastbound onto the M7 south or northbound, there's four lanes there where there used to be three. So the maps are saying there's three lanes. Autopilot's seeing four lanes. The maps are saying you need to be in lane three to take the exit, so the car enters lane three, which in this case is not the leftmost lane, it's the second from the leftmost lane. And what autopilot does is it sits in that lane thinking this is a lane I need to be in to exit, when really it needs to be in lane four in its understanding or its counting of the lanes, where we would call that lane one or the leftmost lane. And because of that, it misses the exit. And I've seen similar problems on other exits where it sees a phantom fourth lane. So, the, for example, if you're going westbound and you want to exit at Kent Road on the um, M4 Kent and Kent Road exit, um, there is only three lanes there, and there has only been three lanes for quite some time. Okay, so what we can see is the car is on the middle lane here, approaching Memory Road. It needs to merge into the left-hand lane to exit the freeway at Kent Road, which is doing quite fine. It has entered that left-hand lane. We have 1.4 kilometres to go to the exit of the freeway to Kent Road. First of all, we need to allow the traffic on the left to merge. We can see that Autopilot shortly will detect the four lanes, one being the merge lane to the left, that is normal, that is to be expected. We have 800 metres to go to Kent Road and the left-hand lane, the merge lane, has now disappeared. And what we can see is the autopilot thinks there is four lanes. And we can see that through the arrows in the top left-hand corner there of the autopilot screen. And if we pause it right here, what we can actually see is that autopilot thinks there is four lanes. The cameras are seeing four lanes. There's a phantom lane off to the right. And I can highlight this by doing an overlay. And what we can see here with the overlay is we can see that um, autopilot sees four lanes. And the red arrow there is just highlighting um, the, what the autopilot wants to be in, what lane autopilot wants to be in. It wants to be in lane three or if you're counting from the right, or lane two if you're counting from the left. So if we overlay the lane numbers, um, as we as a left a country that drives on the left-hand side of the road would see them, we can see that we see lane one, lane two, and lane three from the left-hand side, and a phantom lane off to the right. Now, what I think is happening is autopilot is actually counting from the right-hand side of the road, as we can see here. And it's counting lane 1 being the rightmost lane to lane 4 being the leftmost lane. And it's counting lane 1 as being the phantom lane, the lane that doesn't actually exist, but autopilot thinks it does. And therefore, autopilot thinks it needs to be in lane 3, which would be lane 2 if we're counting from the left. And 
that means autopilot thinks, yes, I'm in the right, the correct lane. This is the lane I need to be in to exit the freeway. But as we approach the exit, we can see that it doesn't exit. And I think this is the reason why we are seeing this on so many Australian exits. The car is counting from the right hand side of the road. Lane one, lane two, lane three, and lane four being the left hand most lane. And what I think Tesla needs to do for countries that drive on the left hand side of the road, like we do in New Zealand and Britain, is they need autopilot to count from the left hand side of the road. Because if autopilot was counting from the left hand side of the road, it would go, I need to be in lane one. And lane one would be the leftmost lane. And that's what we would expect. And if that was the case, I think a lot of these problems wouldn't exist because autopilot would go, okay, I can see four lanes, that's fine, I don't care about that. I need to be in lane one. Lane one is the leftmost lane and that's the lane I'm going to be in and exit the freeway. I think this is where a lot of the problems with um, navigating autopilot are stemming from. I think it's a relatively easy fix for Tesla, um, but they need to be made aware of that. And that's the whole reason for this video. Um, of course, we understand that, you know, navigating autopilot is beta software and we know it will improve, but unless we give this feedback to Tesla, um, it can be difficult for the engineers to understand what's going on because all they're exposed to is a right hand a country that drives on the right hand side of the road. So hopefully Tesla can see these videos and hopefully Tesla can see what's going on here and um, fix this in a future update. I, I love Navigate Auto Autopilot. Um, it's absolutely awesome when it changes lanes. Changing lanes and Navigate Auto Autopilot is absolutely brilliant. But at the moment, it's a massive fail with trying to exit um, from freeways. Um, it does work in some instances, we have seen that, but this whole phantom lane issue that it sees um, and is, is a problem and of course, you know, there could be multiple reasons for that. It's just, you know, Sphinx has a lane there, it's not quite seeing the sort of lane marking, which is quite understandable because the lane markings in Australia are quite pathetic. But if Autopilot was counting the lanes from the left hand side of the road, I really don't think this would be a problem. Um, it might be a problem at the one odd inter or one odd exit, which is exiting from the, the centre of the freeway. But realistically, I think we might have three or four of them in the country. There's not many. Um, most of our exits are exiting from the left hand side of the freeway. So I think it would be less of a problem if, if that was the case. So hopefully this can get sorted. I'm pretty certain it will. Um, it really, it has to because there's no way uh, full self-drive can be rolled out um, with the car behaving in this manner. Um, but yeah, so that's my thoughts on what's happening with um, autopilot. Uh, basically, my tips for navigating autopilot, use it. It's absolutely awesome for driving down the freeway, overtaking slower cars, brilliant. But when you're coming up to the exit where you're planning on exiting, be prepared to take over. Or if you're still not comfortable with that, as you approach the exit, just press on that blue navigate and autopilot button there. That will disable navigate and autopilot. Autopilot will still keep running, it just won't navigate anymore. And then you can manually take over and exit the freeway as you normally would, um, without annoying all the other drivers around you thinking, what the hell is this drunk idiot doing? Not really realizing that it's just the car. Um, so that's my thoughts on autopilot. That's my thoughts on what I think is going on. I hope that helps everybody out there. I uh, really hope that helps Tesla engineers um, find the problem and, and resolve it for us. So um, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, whatever Rob normally says when he ends the program, I can't remember what that is. But yeah, enjoy your driving and your EVs and your Teslas out there. Bye.